Alright guys, so I created a new project so I could do this and show y'all how to do this and I want to try to do it as fast as I can, make it as short as I can. I have a tendency of uh, losing track of uh, my videos when I'm doing them so uh, I normally do them twice. Alright, so let's get back straight to the topic. So whenever you create this uh, and you've added your plugin your CC plugin uh, to the LS folder like I just did right here uh, and yes I am using 4.27 uh, so because I don't have 4.26 installed right now I'm trying to upgrade everything to 4.27 for the most case if uh, you just install it it'll say you know it only supports up to 4.26 just say OK, and then when you try to run it, it'll ask you. It'll say you don't have 4.26, and then you can choose 4.27. So that's what we're going to do. So right-click in the content browser after you've done all that, and just type in CC Player. Now I'm going to upload mine from the desktop. This way you'll get to see me do everything. You don't really need uh, the uh, the LODs, but because I unless you're using LODs, if you exported with LODs, then you need to check LODs. It's better just to check all of those, all f like four of those or whatever, rather than to have to re-import it later. Because it doesn't hurt anything if you check something that you don't actually need out of those. Because if it sees that it doesn't have it, then the Unreal will just ignore it. So we've got this uh, set up. So we're going to open up the Warrior. We're going to go to Skeleton. And uh, we just, under Select Rig, if you don't have the Retarget Manager, go to Window. Go to Retarget Manager. And make sure that's checked. And make sure that you're under the Skeleton, not the Mesh. So go to select rig, just select humanoid rig, auto map, save. That's it. Make sure you're exporting it as the Unreal Engine uh, pose. You can also export it as the as the T pose uh, for this particular uh, asset. So if you go over here, advanced locomotion V4, go under character assets, mannequin, skeleton and go to meshes you'll see by default it's in the uh, the Unreal Engine pose uh, A pose I believe it is it's their version of it uh, if you are using the T pose just type in T pose and you'll see ALS mannequin T pose and he'll, it'll change it to the the T pose I'm gonna un, uh, Undo that if I can figure out how. <laughs> there, so if you were to do that, you would choose that T pose under this preview mesh under skeleton. And then you would go to use uh, modify pose and go to use current pose. And it would use that T pose. So it's saying this is out of date, so I'm going to go ahead and update it like that. I should be alright. Uh, I think that's talking about the mannequin pose itself though. That's irrelevant. We don't need that. Just do the same thing on him. Select humanoid and auto map. Save. Now what we're going to do is, uh, this is a little tedious, but we're going to go over here 
we're going to type in animations. And under animation examples, we're just going to copy his folder architecture. So we're going to type in actions, aim, offsets, base, and overlay. Now under base, we need base poses. In air, locomotion, transitions, turn in place. Now under in air. Detail and then their locomotion detail. So we've got all that. Now we can do the overlay, and we're just going to do barrel. And you don't have to do this for the overlay, really. Uh, you could just stick them all in one folder if you want. Theoretically, you could stick all of these in one folder, but I recommend uh, keeping them organized as he did. Bow. Box. M4A1. Pistol. Shared. If you heard that uh, static uh, before, that was my air conditioner. This uh, mic is pretty sensitive, so I have to turn off my AC normally when I'm doing these. Shared va variations, and now we're doing torch. And that's it. So now we have to... Retar we're going to retarget all of these uh, just for brevity brevity sake let's go under actions right click retarget if you did it right it should show up warrior skeleton right here go to change animations actions and that change button is right here Retarget. Now aim offsets. Retarget. Animations. Aim offsets. Base. Base poses. Same thing. Animations. Base. Base poses. And air detail locomotion. detail. And I'm just holding shift and clicking on the last one. Change. Detail. Transition.
transitions. We're almost done. Turn in place. Turn in place. Now. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Sometimes it, it, it brings you down here and it'll confuse you. Just go back up here. I was wondering, I was like, surely there were animations in this folder. This was the bow. And it did it again. <laughs> and you could you could skip past this part if uh if you want, you don't have to sit here and watch it. This is just repetitive. I'm probably not going to go through the trouble of uh, cutting this out. So, I don't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough followers to worry about all that mess. If I had more people interested in this channel, then I, I might be more inclined to go through the trouble. We're nearly done. All right, so now I'm just going to We target this. Now this will probably duplicate some of these, but that's all right. And this is the LSN and blueprint that I'm duplicating. So. Now the reason why we did all those folders separately is because those are mostly going to be holding the montages. Uh, so those, those normally when you do an ALS, uh, or I mean when you do an animation blueprint, when you retarget it, it doesn't normally bring all the uh, like montage animations and stuff like that that are under uh, all of that. So what we end up having to do is we end up having to do it manually anyway. So there might be a better method to do this. If you know of one, let me know because I would like to know. But as far as I know, this is uh, this is just something you have to do when you're retargeting animations like this. So we're gonna get this animation blueprint and we're gonna put it in the CC player main folder. I'm just gonna move here. So we're going to open up this. Let's see. First off, I never we never retargeted this. I forgot to show you all that. So go back into your warrior. Uh, open up your warrior. And open up the Animan. 
again I'll show you where that is so if you go under uh, advanced locomotion v4 character assets mannequin skeleton meshes there's your anim man so open up that and open up your main character now what we need to do is we need to make these virtual bones so also let me check and make sure that I didn't screw up the animations I don't think I did no it looks like they, they look fine the reason why I was saying that is because I had moved him over into the T-pose so I wanted to make but whenever I whenever I retargeted him I was pretty sure that he was not in the T-pose so I wanted to make sure okay so what we're gonna do is uh, the first one right here it's on the left hand and if if you collapse all of these you'll see that it falls under the under the left hand and it's the left hand pointing to the IK handgun so we need to make a virtual bone on here on his left hand and this is his left hand right here add virtual bone IK IK handgun so it also needs to have the same name so double click it and press control C when it highlights it and come over here and double click and press control V if it doesn't have the same name you'll get blueprint errors and, sh and stuff won't work so now the second one on here is just uh, and it's hard to see but there's a little dot right here a uh, little orange orange dot right there on his wrist so that's just that's from the left hand uh, IK hand gun to the IK hand right so we're gonna right click on here and IK hand right double click this control C double click this control V so the first one will be pointing here and the second one will be pointing at his wrist so now we just need to come down here to this one and do the same thing now this one is the right hand pointing to the IK handgun that's why when you select it you see a little dot where the wrist is so type in IK and it should pull up IK handgun again control C control V now the second one is the right hand to the IK hand left IK hand L so check these two make sure that this one's showing a dot on the wrist right there and the second one is pointing to the left hand now the IK the IK foot left offset and IK knee target left So I'm wondering, I'm thinking they have these pointing to their calves. We have one though that we can use. So the first one is the left, the second one is the right. On this one, IK foot L, IK foot R, 
note that on ours it's IK foot R and then IK foot L. So just keep that in mind so you're not mix getting those backwards. So we're gonna do oops. We're gonna do the IK foot R offset. And the IK foot R is just pointing to the foot. The right foot, in fact. I'm actually not sure if it's pointing to the IK foot R or the, the foot R. Yeah, it's the IK foot R. Okay. I think. <laughs> anyway, I don't think it really matters as long as it's pointing in that general direction. I could be wrong, but... Control V. Now we can go ahead and do this one too if you want. And then just change the R to an L. Now the next one is the knee target R. So just type in knee, because we have a CC base or knee share bone. And it seems to me that it works just fine. So, And it looks the same as his as well. But you could probably, and let's, let's just see here, you could probably use the calf. And that also seems to work the same. So it's your your call, but just remember that he, he names it IK uh, knee target R. If I'm gonna try it this way, if it if it acts funny, then we'll just change it. I've tried it the I've tried it the other way, and it seemed to work all right. And maybe maybe I was doing it wrong. So. Now we do the, the right one, or the left one, I mean. Um, calf. And just change that to now. Now, the last two are on the, the root itself. So, he does the, the left and then the right. We're going to do the right and then the left. Uh, not that it really matters, but... At least I don't think it matters. Oops, I accidentally control seed that. This one to R. Might might do these one by one so that you don't get confused and name them incorrectly. The last thing you want to do is get them backwards. And you might want to make sure that you select it and it's pointing to the right direct in the right place. And again, uh, these that point basically at themselves. They're just going to be tiny little dots. Uh, you can scroll back on your wheel to slow down the movement but yeah okay let's see okay there's one more curves so this is just the root pointing at the root and there's your curves so if you select that you should get a little a little one right here in the center at the root so, with all that done and said, uh, let's save this. Now we can exit out of that. 
And now when you compile this again, and it, it shouldn't be necessary. If you didn't open it up, don't worry about going back in here and compiling it. But what I will say is you might save it. Because if, if it accidentally crashes uh, whenever you do this, and it's it's done done it to me once, it's crashed when I was moving these around uh, in the animation blueprint. So you might want to save all this so that if it does crash, everything will be safe. So what we have to do basically is we just have to uh, get these blueprints, set them up. The animation montages are going to be pointing to the old ones. We're going to make them point to the new ones. Uh, also, what we might do is come over here to blueprints let's see is it blueprints character logic yeah alright so what we'll do is we'll just drag this over here and it'll ask us what we want to do we want to copy it we don't want to move it so copy it come over here Okay, so this is pointing back to this one. Uh, so what we want to do for ours is we w I think we want to we want to reparent it. So come over here to where you moved it. Go to character logic and select this and press F two and type AL so it'll be ALS underscore CC underscore base and we'll go ahead and do the same thing for this one this just helps us identify it so we'll type in ALS CC and it should pull up our CC base character blueprint it'll ask us if, we, if we're sure just say yes, reparent. Now you can open this up in the editor. And, and you don't, let's see. I think, so this is where the, the color of the skin is coming from, right here. It's being inherited by this so I think if we do that that should work so come back over here we'll see so okay it inherited <laughs> its transparency so no that didn't work okay Look, this is what I did, it, and it may not be the most performance-friendly way. I don't know exactly if how this will affect it as far as performance, but I'm just going to put mine as the uh, under the parent class. I'm just going to put it as as our mesh. So, and as you can see, you don't even see it here. That's fine. Just select mesh under again under this one and we're going to assign our animation and mesh 
blueprint to it. Actually, I think the only reason why it's doing that is because it's got that color updater on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so actually it wasn't necessary to change this over. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, you can you can not do that if you don't want to. You could put nothing there if you want to. Probably. Let's see. No, there's de there definitely has to be something there. Apparently, so. Well, you could just uh, go back here and put that other one back in it if you want. So under this. And we'll see if we can do that without. So it reset our mesh. I see. Okay, so when when we took that away, it just it was just resetting our mesh. I see. Okay, anyway, let's get back to it. Over here. And over here. And we took that off. We did not take that off. There we go. So just just go under construction script and, and uh, disconnect set slash reset colors. And uh, that'll remove the color from his skin. So now the fun part. Okay. So over here under variables on the left hand side we need to change all these animations, all these animations and all of these animations. So let's get to it. So under animations go to the search bar under filter right here and type in the name of this uh, up to a certain point. So I'm going to type in ALS CLF get up front for now front so if you look if you pay attention to the name it'll it'll tell you front and default so look for front montage default front montage RH front montage LH front montage 2H So we're going to change this from front to back now and front or back montage default back montage RH back montage LH back montage 2H now we've done those now ALS in land rule F so F montage default F montage RH montage LH montage 2H those are done. Now we just need a few more. You have to drop these down though on these. So ALS in underscore mantle uh, 2 meter default 2 meter montage default 1 meter montage default One meter montage RH, one meter montage LH, one meter montage 2H, one meter montage box. All right, let's see. Am I forgetting anything? Well, yeah, I am actually. So, 
if you go back over here back to uh, clear this by the way so you can see everything make sure you open up your ALS NM uh, blueprint go ahead and compile save see if it's working all right seems to be but let's see so let's see uh, I actually need we need to copy over this game mode so copy this over copy here so we have our own game mode under here I'm going to call this ALS CC game mode SP so under our world settings let's just go ahead and switch over to that one open this up go to CC player uh, Go under character logic, select our ALS CC man character blueprint, and replace his default pawn class with ours. You could also uh, rename this one to ALS CC player controller and use that one as well if you want. Uh, that's not really necessary, but we'll do it anyway. So, uh, we need to remove his from here, and we'll just throw a player spawn right here. And now, let's see. All right, everything seems to be working okay. For the most part, let's test it out over here. Let's see if. Okay, that's the bug I was telling you about, the ragdoll one. So you get stuck right there. I don't know what's up with that. Now, let's see. I'll show you another one, pistol 1H. So as you can see, the it's slightly off here so that kind of sucks but it's everything works fine with it it's just they're just they're go, they're gonna be off so I think I know where to go to look for it though as you can see right here even and when he's holding it so Injured. Feminine. Masculine. Barrel. The barrel one actually actually looks right. What about the box? Uh, the box one is off on the. Yeah, kind of on both hands. Torch. As you, the torch is obviously off. So, they're all going to be off a little bit, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, I do have my theories as to, let's see, under the ALS Anim Blueprint, if you go over here, under the overlay layers, I think the solution to our problem will probably be under, under here somewhere. I'm thinking. I, I could be wrong. But there, there might be an... Uh, so there's a foot IK. There might be a hand IK or aim offset behavior. Maybe. That might be. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. Alright guys, I hope this helped. Uh, let me know in the comments if uh, what you think about it.